three, two, one. Let's do this thing. Hey, what's that blinking light? We're on the air. Hi, and welcome back to the Hiberian Channel. We have a special treat for you tonight. <laughs> this is Hiberian's spooky pre-Halloween special. Ghosts in the graveyard. <laughs> Don't get caught without a shovel. <laughs> okay, let me set this up for you. We have a graveyard, a 200-year-old graveyard, about two blocks down the street from us. The oldest grave in it dates back to 1816. And the newest or youngest grave dates to 1936. And uh, let's just say we'll leave the location undisclosed at this time. All the pictures were taken uh, last Saturday, October 24th. Uh, uh, my wife her friend and our two daughters went on down to this graveyard at about 10:30, 11 o'clock at night and was taking pictures all the pictures were taken with a kodak easy share c913 digital camera and now i'll go to one of the eyewitnesses of that night How'd you feel when you went down to the graveyard that night? Well, I got a little, little, um, little, like, little afraid, because, um, there's spooky things. Because <laughs> it was a graveyard? Yeah. Okay. Now, when you were down at the graveyard, did you see any fog or mist? No. No, I promise I didn't see any mist or fog. Okay. And can you describe what you and your friend was doing uh, standing at that uh, grave with the American flag? Well, we didn't see anything because we are talking about the guy. <laughs> Unsure about that. And you're, you're talking about the, the guy that was in the grave probably? Yes. And what did you do? Were you talking to him or about him? Well, we talking to him. And what was you saying? We said about, like, thank you for saving our America and everything. Okay, and now I gotta jump in because the very next picture or two you see of the same area, there's nothing. No mist, no nothing. Uh, a little blurry on the lights, um, and now we have another eyewitness. Uh, can you please, ma'am, describe this picture? Uh, this is me. I am looking for some headstones that I noticed were missing. Um, there were about five headstones of Civil War veterans that we always, you know, looked at when we drove by going home, and, uh, that night we went up there I noticed that they weren't there so at that particular point we were trying to locate where the stones had stood did you notice any fog around your head when the picture was being taken uh, the whole time we were there it was cl crystal clear to our eyes the fog only showed up when we went home and looked at the pictures and why exactly was you carrying a lantern and not a flashlight well, I figured this graveyard was so old um, that most of these people didn't know much about indoor plumbing or electric lighting. And I thought carrying a lantern might draw their attention, you know, as we spoke to them and kind of, you know, be something that was familiar to them. So that, that's why I brought the lantern. While you were there, did you have any spooky feelings, the hair standing up on the back of your neck or goosebumps? No, not at all, except for the fact that we were in a dark graveyard late at night, but I, I had no, you know, spooky feelings whatsoever. It was just more 
a fun adventure for the four of us to do around Halloween instead of going to a haunted house. We thought, you know, paying our respects to people had, who had lived long before would be a nice, better, and cheaper option. Now, while you were there, did you start any fires and or did you notice your breath? Um, absolutely not. And uh, fires are strictly forbidden. That's uh, vandalism. I had spoke with the city manager and gotten permission to go out there. And they said as long as you were quiet and did not vandalize, you had permission to go and you were fine. Thus, the reason we're keeping the uh, graveyard, the location of the graveyard, uh, undisclosed at this time for fear of future vandalism and people tramping through trying to recreate these photographs. And uh, we wanted to be respectful of the resting places of those who lie there and those whose headstones have and haven't been damaged. Okay, and for you skeptics, I know these pictures probably ain't going to change your mind, and you're entitled to your opinion. And for those who do believe in spirits, or ghosts, or an afterlife, uh, these pictures are something to just ponder and kind of wonder, you know, what if? <laughs> and are they real? So, with that, I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, my, I will do several videos in the near future um, speaking to, uh, to this um, as far as scientifically giving you my logic uh, for or reasoning for why I believe in an afterlife, spirits, and ghosts. Until then, this is Hiberian signing off. Blessed be, live long and prosper, so mote it be. Happy Halloween, everybody. The boogeyman's gonna get you.